As the awareness of my father's presence grew, so did the ache in my heart, until all I felt was pain, inside and out. I doubled over, unable to do anything more than gasp. But it wasn't a heart attack. It was something far more deadly. The transmitter the Razik had placed in my heart, reacting to my father's presence. Calling the Razik, telling them he was coming. And I could barely even breathe, let alone give him any sort of warning. An instant later, I was flung up against the lockers, my feet off the ground and a band of iron against my neck. What have you done? The voice was a deeper, angrier version of mine, and it seemed to shake the foundations of the room around us. What have you agreed to? I opened my mouth to answer, but no words came out because no air was getting in. Panic surged, and for a moment I wondered if he intended to kill me in sheer and utter rage.